I like going hunting, just me, my hound, and my gun. Chasing them deer, rabbit, and squirrel, now that's my kind of fun. I like going fishing too, I'll go on any whim. Looking for the big bass, the crappie, and the brim. Give me a wide open field to walk through. Give me an ocean so deep. I want to ride the longest river in the world, or maybe climb the highest mountain peak. Uh, I'm out, uh, out here in uh, the Gulf of Mexico, my good buddy Jim Hawkins, and uh, I mean uh, Ray Hawkins, and what's Jim's last name here? Hanley. Right? Jim Hanley. Yeah, Hanley, and uh, this is a new rig that's been put out from Mobile, and uh, I believe Jim has got a, got one on right now. We're going to do some fishing in and around uh, the rigs right here. Uh, we hope to catch some big king mackerels and uh, Bonitas, uh, maybe a snapper or two, and uh, just about anything you catch on one of these offshore rigs. And they have provided some real good fishing. Jim, you got about all you can handle, ain't you? Yeah. What do you think it is? It's a bonita. Bonita? I seen them cutting the water. There was a whole bunch of bait fish in and around these rigs. See the bonita fall? Yeah, there he comes. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them behind him. Yeah, bring him over this side right here. Let's. Yeah, there he goes. Let's see if we can see them others in there with him. Yeah, that's a good one. What a Latin right weight, here, I'll grab him by the tail. Woo. About 11 or 12 pounds. He don't want to come in, does he? Boy, they tough, aren't they? There he is. Yeah, that's fine, that's deep, too. They're all in the all in the behind the boat there. You got him, Jim? Let's hold them up and show the folks the characteristics of a bonita. Uh, they get a little bigger than this out here, but not much, don't they? What's the biggest you ever seen around these rigs? Rodeo record was I think 17 pounds. So that's a pretty good size bonita. Got these markings in here. And generally got some spots, but they're not showing up too much here, are they, Ray? No, they don't. Usually four or five spots right in here, and there's a little line goes up there. Powerful swimmer. They have a, they look like a little tuna. Now these, it's really a false albacore. Uh -huh. uh, it's not a real edible fish, but some folks eat them, don't they, Ray? Yeah, it's not really a bonita at all. The, the true bonita is on the Atlantic coast. These are, like say, false albacore. They call, or they're properly, they're little toony is the real name for them. Uh -huh. But um, they're, they're a whole lot of fun to catch. And you, the one good thing about them is they're real cooperative. If there's nothing else is biting, which is you know the best thing, what we're trying to do is catch fish anyway, you can always just about catch a bonita. And the bonita is really pull better than better than a oh, comparably sized king. Fish. Yeah. yeah. They okay. pull it really good. Well, we'll see if we can get this see what else hook. we can get. We catch us a king. Our, what, now, Ray, what, what is this deal out here? It looks like a great big old jack to me. All right, this is a drilling rig. They, they call this particular type of rig a jack-up rig, and the, the, it's obvious, you know, it's an obvious name for it. But you see the teeth on the corner of, it, of each of those three legs up at the top there. You notice a housing. Inside that housing, there's a cog that winds up and down on those teeth like a rack and pinion. What they do when they bring this thing out from off the coast, they they push it out with push boats or tug it out with a tugboat. And this whole area above us is nothing but a, it's actually a, a barge. And it sits flat on the water and the legs will be raised up above it so that there's, you know, naturally so that it doesn't touch the bottom. Once they get, the, once they push the rig out to where they want it, then they'll, they'll stop it right where they figure they want to put it at. And they'll start winding these legs down. And as these legs come down, once they touch the bottom, once they come out of the top of it, touch the bottom of the ocean, then it lifts this rig on up into the air and they lift it and this platform they lift it high enough so that uh, no foul seas can wash over and possibly turn it over there's in real rough weather it is possible for these things to turn over out in louisiana it happens occasionally they've got a good many of them out there and if they have some rough seas if the seas do get high enough and you'd be surprised how high they can get even in here i imagine we'll have seas that'll go halfway up this leg but if, if it gets up too much into it, it can tip this thing over. 
Now the drilling part is the round uh, pole uh, rig there. Right. right, all your drilling's going on inside that casing right there. They're probably, there's no telling, tens of thousands of feet deep now drilling down through the core trying to get to the pocket of oil that they're looking for. What we're going to do here today, we're going to fish with, with uh, frozen cigar minnows. Well, they're thawed out now, but you buy them frozen in a box. We're working with about an 18 inch, 60 pound strand leader. It's probably, I think it's seven strands in it. We use as dark a tackle as possible. All the terminal tackle you notice is black. Even the, even the crimps are black. The leader's black, and we use a bronze treble hook. We're fishing for mackerel. Mackerel hit anything shiny. Probably uh, kings and Spanish, one of their favorite food is glass minnows. Well, everything down there is shiny, so they're gonna hit something shiny. You, if you have a piece of a shiny swivel on here, they're apt to hit it rather than the minnow, and naturally they're gonna cut you off when they hit the monofilament. We're not fishing with a 25 pound monofilament, oh, coming down to a 60 pound leader for 18 inches onto a one alt triple hook. You notice we take the hook and just hook the minnow right through the bottom of the lip right out through the top of the head between the eyes. I see. A lot of times we'll have to use a weight, use a small 8 to 3 16 ounce egg sinker right above here, depending on the current. This morning the current's pretty slack, so we're not going to have any problem with it. We're just going to throw him over and uh, let him uh, drift down. As he falls, if he drifts down through the water, he kind of seesaws back and forth, and before he gets several feet deep, something's going to nail him. Because these, these dead cigar minnows are like candy to these mackerel and bonitas. All right, Jim, what can we expect to be down here around these rigs now? What Y'all fish them out here and just, <laughs> you can just tell me uh, yeah. what, what kind of species you expect to catch around. Generally around these rigs, fishing with cigar minnows, you're going to catch cobia or lean, um, Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, or bonitas, and occasionally a shark, but not very often. There's, there aren't nearly as many sharks that you come in contact with as a lot of people believe. You, you usually don't, we, we usually don't encounter sharks. Now on deeper down, on deeper down here, we're in about 80 feet of water and on the bottom there's a few grouper now and some snapper, some small bait fish, beeliner snapper and pinfish and probably a good many amberjack, not to mention trigger fish. Got one coming up on your right, Arch. Jim, that thing's all in there around that in the mine. Look at that. Boy, I mean, they're all in there. There's two chasing that one. I'm almost in. You watch it. Watch out. Okay. Come on. Got two on here. All right, let me get you out. I'm out of your line. Ah, there we go. Yeah, well, good thing about them is once you get their head out of the water, they're whipped. Yeah, that's a good deal. Boy, these things can pull. He's got a bunch of buddies with him, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Beautiful fish. You about got him whipped? Yeah, here they come. Look at all them right there with him. Look at there. Man, that water's full of fish. Goodness gracious alive. These are powerful fighters, aren't they, Ray? Yes, Look at sir. There's two with him. Look at him go. Oh! <laughs> See, they're staying right behind him because they feel like he's got something to eat. There you go. They want to get a piece of the action. Boy, them things is tough. This is a really big one here. So there's a good old big in there, huh? I guarantee it. Boy, these oil rigs Man. have brought a boom to fishing down They here. really have. If you could look at the, if you could look at the bottom of the ocean, you know, if you could just see it, it looks like a desert. Uh -huh. It's just uh, uh, spots of sand, spots of mud, and there's really hardly anything there. If you could just swim along the bottom of the ocean, you would, uh, you'd go for miles and miles and see very little or no marine life at all because there's nothing for them to get around. Whenever they put one of these rigs up, it immediately attracts small fish and then it goes just goes right up the chain. Well, you know, when we was bringing them up just a while ago, them little old bitty fish came right on up with them. Yes, sir. Now, hey. if, you, if you increase your line size here, you don't get as many strikes, do you? Well, these these bonitas, that really doesn't make a lot of difference, but the kings, it does. Yeah, boy, there's a herd of them down there behind that one. Well, I've had him on for 20 minutes. Look, at, look at all of them in there behind you. Boy, that's a beautiful fish. That is a really good bonita right there. 
Well, that can go great wide. That fish there probably weighs 13, 14 pounds. And that's, and that's getting on up there, ain't yes, it? Yes, it is. These fish usually don't weigh but about them. See, now, look here where something has hit that fish on the way up. Look at there. I, one of his be, buddies hit him trying to think, get something to you eat. Think, how do you think a mackerel hit him? Well, it's probably one of those bonitas. It may have been a mackerel. That's mighty sharp teeth marks there. Now, we have had bonitas this size on the way to the boat get eaten whole or come back with nothing but the head from big kings hitting them down deep. They'll, they'll eat a bonita this size whole. Goodness gracious. Boy, that pinfish, something big's on there. I mean, big. Look at him. I can't hardly move him. Maybe an amberjack. No, yep. it ain't running like no amberjack. You had a pinfish on there about half big. Yeah. About half as big as your hand. He ain't coming off the bottom. It may be a Warsaw. Oh, I, don't, I can't do nothing with him. Look at that. He's going straight down. Come and, oh, whoa. It's a giant lean. You must weigh 80 pounds. Oh, my goodness. A giant lean. Stay Can ready to him? throw loose, yeah. Can you see the fish? I saw him. He, he's six feet long. Oh, my goodness gracious alive. Watch your motor. You got him now. Right. Whip him, boy. I ain't got him to the top good yet. All right. Pump, keep pumping. Reel down and pump him up. There must have been 20 ling behind him, all of them. Boy. 30 or 40 pounds. You're doing good. There he is. Look at I him. I see him. I see him. I see him. They're all over there. Look at that thing. He's coming up. Look at the ling behind him. Get him in close. There's 20 of them behind him. Look at get him. him. Look close. at him back there. Jim, get ready. I got something to throw on him. Where's Holy him? mackerel. There is a sack full of them down there. Man, that is a wheel hoss right Come there. Here. Come here, Jim. Here. I see five, right, six, right seven, eight, nine. I see cigar. ten under there now. Just as we gap him, we're going to drop a cigar man on them others. Look he's, at them down there. He's by far the granddaddy. Oh, yeah. Bring his head up, and we're going to gap him right here. There they are. There must be, there's eight, ten, twelve. Pop his head up, Archie. Here we go. Coming up. You got him? Hold him. Hold him. Watch your line. Watch your... We lost him. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, me, oh, my, oh, me, oh, my. Oh, what a fish. See, when he when he grabbed, though, he got my line, got around the end of the... Started twisting. Oh, my goodness. That's what makes fishing fishing. Man, alive, what a fish. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Well, I ain't mad at you. Hey, Ray, Ray I ain't mad monster. at you. You done all you could do. You had an arm full with that gaff, didn't you? He was a monster. Uh, uh, uh. He's just idling around this rig, isn't he? He sure is. Bob brought his little boy with him today, and uh, he told me this morning he's going to have him a father and son outing, and uh, they're, uh, they're really having a good time over there. They've, they've been hooked up all morning just about as often as we have. Uh -huh. A lot of times the perimeter around the rig will attract a lot of kings. Even when they're not up underneath, they'll just hang around the outside border. Looks like Bob's got a bonita on the now. Bob, I cut me off a little old piece of cut bait there to put on there, and I done got a Spanish mackerel here. We can tie him tied up somebody a, else's line. Got a buoy line. Let me see if I can get all this mess out of there. here. How in the world did I get him on there without him biting that line? He just, well, he got it right in the very tip, didn't yeah. he? Look how he's bent the hook back down almost to full circle. Goodness gracious. He couldn't, he couldn't have got off of there if he'd have wanted to. Well, now, what, what are exactly are we sitting on right here now? We're sitting on the Liberty ship, the, the Anderson. They call it the Anderson Wreck, the Anderson Reef. Edwards. Edwards, I'm sorry. Edwards. Uh -huh. Edwards. We're sitting on the Edwards, and uh, we're in... Uh, Anywhere from, well, we're in 91 feet of water, and the wreck, ver wreck varies as much as 30 feet off the bottom, which it's just a, uh, a man-made reef to attract fish for, uh, for us to come out here and catch. You know, way back then, 15, 20 years ago, a bunch of us got together and petitioned Congress. We had all them boats sitting up there in, uh, let me get a hold of them. I don't want to get on them teeth. Sitting up there in mothballs, and all we had to do was go get them. And, uh, they was talking about cutting them up and all. I said, man, take them out there and dump them. We got a bunch of organizations together. We got them to bring them out there and dump them. Now we're, this is some of the- Reaping the benefits reaping of the, it. Well, you see it all over. The bonitas have been just rolling in the water. There's all kind of bait fish on them. Uh, Bob over here just caught a uh, little snapper and cobia, just full of fish, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. We need, we need a few more of them dumped. Yeah, a bunch of them. You must have a king. 
Oh, everybody on. I, I don't know what him. in the world nailed that thing. You still but got it. I believe that's a lean. I think you're probably right. Damn. Boy, that's a big old fish. I tell you what, you have probably got is a king. You think I got a that king big hardtail like that? Well, that was a it was a fine hardtail. He's acting I put just out like there. a king. Huh? King will run out and lay dead and come back, and when he sees the boat, he'll go out of his mind. He went out of his mind on that first run. I couldn't even get anything, and I didn't dare Watch back up on that drag. Eat it while I help him. You got a gaff. Oh, thing yeah, on this ready. boat, we can get, it, get him up we got here with. Yeah, if you get him up here, we'll have him. I want to see him first. I don't know he's what he is. He's still down. He must be 30, 40 feet deep. We can see 30 feet deep here. Yeah, I can't. I ain't so seen even a flash or anything. We should be seeing him shortly. I don't want to horse him. Still not seeing nothing. Uh -uh. It has got uh -oh, to be. Uh -oh, there it is. The boat. Can you good. see the fish? That's, I see it. I think it must be a king. It's yeah, silver. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a lean. It's, you see the shi s silver sides on it. it must be a big king mackerel. You don't reckon it's a jack cravalli, do you? No, it look it would look green if it was a they jack. They usually run out this deep. They usually, they usually stay around the sandbars, quite pretty close to, to the beach, two or three miles out. Boy, he's. What you have got is a big king, I imagine. King mackerel. Yeah, that's what it is. He's kind of smoky looking. A nice king. You see him? Woo! Look at what that thing! King. You got a 40 pound king. Look what out, you got. look out, look at Watch that motor. Hold you. Watch that motor. All right, Jim, move these rods to the other side. We're going to need some room. Boy, he is a monster. Bob, we got your baby over here. We have got a there 40 pound. He comes pound up, one. coming up. Wow, look at that king yeah. mackerel. That's just what I say. They're, they'll come up, and when they see the boat, they lose their minds. But that is a monster king. That is king. a trophy king. Yeah, yeah, I've got steel. steel. That is a trophy king. People fish all summer and not catch a king like that. There he is. There he is. Looking good. Just got him right on in. Oh, I don't want to let wait. him get tired. I don't want to, we don't want to green gaff him. Those king, and when we, when we get him gaffed, you need to just slide back because those teeth on those things are more dangerous than a loaded Oh, pistol. I know it. I know it. I know it. Boy, that's Jim a here monster like got his hand right cut off there. last year. That is a monster. Golly! Woo! Woo! Look at that king mackerel. Holy mackerel. Look at that thing. <laughs> what do they weigh, Ray? He'll probably weigh 40 pounds. Good. 38. Gracious alive. That is a beauty. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Absolutely a fine king. And you just can't believe how many of them we got this that this size like that. Three years ago, you wouldn't have thought about catching a king like this like this size. Mm, mm, mm. But it uh, is fine. Through some of the management associations, you, uh, the the kings have come back just in an unbelievable rate. I just hope that people don't take Hold advantage. Hold up there. Of Let's it. show them colors in that thing if you can. He's got he's got a uh, got a reddish cast to him, and he's got uh, he's got a little bit of everything in him, hasn't he? Green yes, sir. on the back. Oh. Still got him okay? Yeah.
trying to get this one out of the way. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. This we time, got rods. When, time when you need about another 12 feet of boat. Oh, I've seen that. Pretty good one. How big is it, Jim? Oh, probably 25 pounds at least. Oh, my goodness. That's his foul. Hook. We're up to the leader. All right, we're getting yeah. better at that gaffing. Holy mackerel, what a fish. Get him, baby. Bye. Folks, we're having to leave the fish bite to get in in time. We're so far out, and y'all stay again, stay tuned again next week for some more outdoors with Archie Phillips. Bring him on in there, Jim. Let's get this last one. Fishing, fishing. Man, alive, what a fish. Woo!